Heavy October. This is called Witchy Sacrifices. You click on people, and you can manipulate them. There's no fall damage though. And sacrifice is pretty self-explanatory. You stuff people into the pot, you get their souls. Large cauldron can boil multiple humans at once, but that costs five souls, and I think it would be much better to go for 15. Extract more life force when sacrificing humans. First though, cottage. The smoke from your chimney lures more humans in to investigate. The next one's 25, so gotta get those souls. The smell of enchanted cookies attracts even more humans to your woods. Boop. In there. They immediately lose their lanterns. Look, missed. Nice shot. Five to go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Shrine. And then altar will give humans a slight chance to reincarnate, but I think I'd rather go for magic mirror. Creates a copy of anyone who glances into it. So that's another doubling. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hmm. Now, either I wait for three more humans, or I immediately get more humans. I think I'll wait for two more. They're already here. Nice. Now I have a magic mirror. Double the humans, double the souls. Might want to boil multiple humans at once now. Because 50 extracts more life force from each victim. And I'm all about that efficiency. On the other hand, there. Stories of the haunted mansion in the woods attract would-be ghost hunters. Scrying stone allows you to carry two humans at once. Convenient considering that they're in groups of two thanks to the magic mirror. Nice. 
Getting close. And here we go. I have newt. One human. Produces an enormous soul now. Worth three. Very good. So basically it only takes ten humans to get a slight chance to reincarnate. Get that working. Each human you kill contributes its blood to a devastating spell. Eh. I'd rather focus on maximizing return. Need 100 to upgrade from a ma to a mansion. And there we go. Castle. The screams from your dungeons of Rile the local townsfolk into action for 500. That could take a while. Allows you to carry four humans at once with a crystal ball. Very nice. I don't think I've seen the reincarnate pick up even once yet. Ah, there it goes. Very nice. Reincarnating immediately above the uh, cauldron. Since it's still nowhere near 500, might as well get this other stuff. Each human you kill contributes its blood to a devastating spell, might as well. Get back here. Okay, and reincarnations do in fact contribute their blood. Not many left. Bear trap. Automatically crushes intruders with its sharp jaws. Enchanted pressure plate. Bear trap resets itself after being triggered. Close to me having to actually click. There we go. And that's all the upgrades except for the castle. Oh look, there it is. Very large, very spooky. Very Halloween. There's no real end to this game though yet, so... Just gonna end it here. Link's in the description.